Welcome back. Uh, in last video, uh, I assembled the, the rug and this uh, rug could be used as uh, it's a network lab, a home lab actually. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to add two devices, one uh, router and one switch. Uh, this lab, it will consist of two routers and three switches. For today, I'm just going to add uh, one router and one switch. So let me show you how you mount, you uh, how this works. So on this one, if you can see, this one we put in the back, so he can secure the, the, the screw. So we're going to put it in the back. Uh, I supposed to have, I was trying to use this one, but I don't have more of those. So I'm not going to use them. But that's the one also you can use uh, to screw the, the screw. So the first one, we're going to add a rack. I mean, the, this is a press funnel. It's 24 unit and it's a one U should be easy. So so the rock come with enough screw so I think uh, that's been enough. I don't want to use a strong uh, drain. Because it can break the... This one there. good so I'm going to leave like two unit so when we get another uh, switches we're going to add them so this is a one so this is 11 and 10 so I'm going to start from nine so we're going to add one so the nine we leave one in the middle so do it fast One there and nine, it should be right here. So we're going to leave the gap. So when we have, when I got those devices on Avery, and yep, so we're going to add this switch. You have to be careful. This is switch, yes.
I need to do on this side. Yep. So we got it. And I have to make a cables, but this is how it's gonna work. This cable is gonna come somewhere. Depend how we're gonna design. But this is how this thing work. But so I'm gonna cut those cables and make make a short one this way. But for now, uh, we're gonna add another three devices so we can make five: two router and two switches. So. Uh, those are two uh, long cables, so we're going to design and see how this is going to work, but this is where we should be connected. So, yeah, so uh, I'm just cabling, but that's not uh, the way it should be, but this is how we're going to to connect to the because we're going to move it from here so it be a different it cannot be in that way uh, I got a cable management uh, it's a little bad right now but that's now how it's going to be so yeah and we have, uh, I have this uh, power protection, it's going to be on the back, but it's, it's like 8 Ford and it has like 4 USB, so you'll be able to connect to, like if you, so this it has a U, uh, USB power uh, port and that's the one. So when I got those devices, uh, they sent me sent me this uh, constant cable. Uh, I used to have one before. So this one uh, N one is, as you can see, USB, and the other end it should go to the to the back of the, the switch so I can be uh, logging and, and, and configure and manage the uh, so the US I mean the constant cable is how it's go it's gonna go on the back of that and the other end is going to go on in here and that's how we're going to log in and configure these things so if you have a suggestion uh, I'm still building the the lab the gear lab, uh, home lab uh, so I love to hear from you if you have experience or you've done this before please let me know because uh, my goal to be able to separate the my home network from the lab so uh, I need some ideas and configuration to be able uh, to isolate the, my home network from the lab and that's it for today and thank you and uh, a lot of people uh, uh, last time on the, the first video and Thank you so much. So let me know what do you think. Uh, this one would be five devices, so uh, three switches and one uh, two router. So the number is be five, and this one will uh, I will organize it. It's not going to look like this, this way, but for now uh, I leave it this way. And this uh, rug is is very is very really good. So. Thank you so much.